Horses are back for a limited time. That's right, horses. Enjoy horses. They're back for a limited time. Enjoy horses. I rarely play this Civ. In fact, I so rarely play her. The last time I did was in my original A to Z challenge over three years ago on stream. Oh yeah. So what do you do when one, you never play a Civ, two, want to have fun with said Civ, and three, the most important, break the game. You build Kurgans, of course. The Horse Lady is best known for her domination skills, as you get a free second light cavalry when you build one in a city. This also includes Sokka Horse Archers. However, she has a tile improvement called the Kurgan. Unlocked with Animal Husbandry, this Kurgan gives plus one faith and plus three gold on the tile that it is improving, as well as plus one additional faith for each pasture. Not an incredible tile improvement, mind you, as generally you'll be building these on grassland and plains, since they can only be built on flat tiles, meaning most of the tiles are going to look like this. The biggest change that was made to the Kurgan, however, in the April 2021 patch is what we're going to break today, and that is the fact that you gain tourism from Kurgans. Yes. Once you unlock the flight technology, your Kurgans start to produce tourism equal to their faith output. Now what does this mean? It's time for a challenge. This is the Kurgan only tourism challenge where I'm not building districts, rock bands, national parks, etc. in order to win the tourism victory. The only exceptions to this challenge are I'll build the government plaza in order to build the ancestral hall, as that doesn't really contribute to tourism or culture whatsoever. As well, as if I'm feeling cheeky, maybe two to three wonders like the pyramids. This is a large size, seven seas map played with regular game modes because we're breaking the games today. If you wanted to play this turn one save, it will be in my discord at discord.gg slash boast, but First, hey, I think Dave has an announcement. This is Dave, and Dave stands for, well, Dave. Recently, Dave just hit 80,000 subscribers, and he cannot begin to thank you enough. But that also means he's starting to transform and gain an upgrade. He's still missing some upgrades, however. Notably, he has a little slot missing for a silver plaque for 100k subscribers. Won't you help him reach his goal of 100,000 by subscribing? It would, it would mean a lot. Won't you do it for Dave? Sith, the, uh. This was save file number two out of my Tamira saves for this challenge. And I beat the first one without game modes, but I wanted to see how fast I could do it with them. So that's why we're doing this. Settling on spot here, plus one error score from the floodplains. Now, I'm actually going to be going uh, Animal Husbandry first here because I want those Kurgans. That way, I don't have to work God King to get my Pantheon, and that also means I'm going a Builder after a Scout, as you can see here. Huh. <laughs> Little Scout. Ooh. Tribal Village. Give me a Relic. Give me. Give me. Yeah. Oh, just kidding. I mean, I can't get a Relic every game, right? Right? Right. Uh, west or North? Yeah, let's go north. Oh, like oh. Let's go. Let's go. Governor time. Magnus Gaming. Pingala is for plebs. Magnus Supremacy. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, but really, this is for chopping out settlers and builders and... Oh. Yeah, Where are you, bud? But, oh my god, you're right there. <sighs> We're going to war. There's no way he's not going to declare war on me, right? There's no way. Okay, well, let's at least send a delegation. Oh, I also wanted to dispel a little myth here. Uh, people have said that you get a more favorable first impression if you meet someone with a scout versus a warrior, and that is just unequivocally false. Uh, this is within the. This was in a first few tip videos that I've seen a while back, and even in like r slash civ a few times. But it really it does not matter. Uh, here's a little test. Uh, no game modes. Default everything with a random civ. Uh, I ran this test like 30 times on different maps, and the impression was always the same. It doesn't matter if it's a warrior, if it's a scout, or if it's a slinger. Uh, it, that's that factor does not matter. Um, other things do, such as like whether you swap caps with them, 
uh, if you tell them that it's like an honor to meet you, so like the dialogue agenda or things like that, uh, as well as like their hidden agendas, that stuff matters. It does not matter if you meet them with a scout or a slinger uh, or a warrior. Uh, it, it does not matter. I have to dispel that myth. <sighs> uh, scout is done. Let's go left beef. Oh, hey, first meet on Kaguana. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good city state to have. Down, down, down. Let's go south. Oh, tribal village. Easy peasy. You know you want to give me a relic. Give. Okay. Well, you know, I'll take Void Singers. And hey, extra Envoy. It sounds like an easy suzerain with Kaguana since they want a trade route, eh? Oh, it's done. Okay, let's see. Do I have horses? Let's see. Hey, of course I do. I am the horse lady. All right. And then I'm not putting in God Gink because I'm getting Kurgans. Ooh, continent. I love a continent split. I wish I was, uh... I wish I was Spain here for the continent split. Um, go west, I guess. Yeah, let's just go. Oh, all right. Relic. Get. Hey, you know what? New population is actually pretty good because that means I can work the Kurgan immediately once I place it down, and we'll get uh, we'll get faith. Oh, Sejong settled the Dead Sea. What a surprise! All right, let's continue. Oh, another another tribal village. Okay. Okay. Oh, another first meet. Singapore. This is why we scout. I always say to build scouts, you don't always have to get two, but build at least one scout because we have two first meets and a bunch of tribal villages. Always scout. All right, here we go. Fourth time's a charm. Give me a relic. Uh -huh. Oh, we got a builder though. Actually, I will take that any day. That means we can uh, we can get the Kurgan and then we can also get another pasture going as well. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, Kurgan time. Ugh. Plus two faith per turn because of the adjacent pasture. Uh, we can work that since our city's at pop four, and uh, we'll have a little less production, but it's it's fine. Oh, oh, what are you doing there, Sejong? Huh? What's going on? All right, uh, I'm gonna sell my marble here that I just created. Hello, everybody. My name is Welcome. Welcome. Because he's probably gonna declare war on me, so we're going right into sack of horse archers. Um, come in, Sejong. Who's coming? Huh? If you're coming right now, let me see it. Let me see it. Show me. Huh? He. He who is coming. Uh. Anyway. All right. Well, there's our settler. Um. Where do I go? Do I settle close to him? Actually, I. I want a golden age here, so I might go settle the volcano instead. That way we can get the content split too. Are you gonna declare war with your with one silly little slinger, huh? Are you gonna do that? Up, oh, sir. A second settler has settled the Dead Sea. Watch out, sir. All right, well, we'll just settle the volcano then. That's fine. How do you like that, Sejong? Huh? He, he who is. Oh, I still. Oh, wait. Did he just? Does he like me now? Oh, he likes me. Well, since he likes me now, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do a little little Arthur shenanigans, because I don't trust this man any farther than I can throw him. Alright, well, I got a trader with uh, the gold that I got from selling my marble, and I'm just gonna Suze Kaguana right now. <gasps> Alright, never mind. Nope, we don't want Arthur. We want Hamiko right now. Yep. Immediately Hamiko time. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but we don't really care. We just, we want to go suzerain stuff. All right. We're going to levy. Uh, I could use Himiko, but I'm just using gold. Oh, oh, move your slinger. Okay. I know you're coming, sir. I know. He, he who is coming. Okay. Now that we have Himiko out, uh, I'm going to go sue Singapore, I think. Yeah. Let's go sue Singapore since we just sued Kaguana. Pantheon. Uh, I think take horses, right? Actually, what about Earth Goddess? How's our appeal? Well, it's pretty... Mm, eh, nah. I already have two pastures. I'm just going to take God of the Open Sky. That's going to give us early culture immediately, so that'll be able to utilize that. It's very... It's very... Uh, you, bleh, it's very useful early game. Okay, another into Singapore. All right. Another scout. 
Hey! Oh, not a first meet on Brussels, but that's a nice city-state to have. And a tribal village, so there's our golden age, at least. Okay. All right, I see your warrior, sir. Yep, let's go ahead and uh, seize them. I'm going to levy them, because even though it says he's friendly up there, which he's not, uh, I've tried declaring friends with him, and he just won't do it. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna declare war because he's parking his units on my borders. So, Back over there. Right, what are we gonna get? Or, okay, faith, whatever. At least we have our golden now, right? All right, here's a levy. It's a little wasted error score, but I don't really care. We're gonna actually just defend ourselves. Um, I think I am gonna grab a money here though and put it into the kaguana. Oh, look, see, he's friendly. Oh, he's not friendly anymore. Oh, big man, so tricksy. You're so friendly, sir. Well, who could have seen this coming, right? Uh, whatever the the AI is, quote unquote, friendly, and they refuse to be friends, they're they're gonna declare war on you. Time to pump out these archers. Let's go. Agoye. Bonk, bonk. Okay, let's go. Typical AI things, bonking my city. Alright, there's my archer. Get wrecked. Get scrumbled. Bonk! Get scrumbled, nerd. Alright. Ooh, another tribal village. You're, you are gonna give me the relic. I said so. Alright, I'm buying another warrior. I'm going all out on Sejong right now, so it's, uh, oh, let's bring our great general, I mean, uh, Himiko. Remember when Himiko used to give plus 10 combat strength when she was released? That was insane. She was instantly S tier, that was crazy. Give me the relic! You know you want to! Okay. A scout, okay, third scout, sure. We love casting spells. I mean, tribal villages. We love casting spells. All right, Sejong, say goodbye to your units now, idiot. The defense is real. What do we get? Oh, another builder. Swag Messiah. I'll, I'll take that every day of the week. I love free builders. And there's still a bunch of turns left in the... Oh, my God. So much wasted error score. <laughs> what almost... Oh, Wukong? Okay. All right. All right. Run! All right, he's here to play. You want to attack me, idiot? You want to come, you wanna, you wanna come on? <sighs> Words, Bose. All right, well, as long as we get rid of Wukong, I should be fine. We have a lot of archers out, so let's kill him. Uh, I'll run with this guy. I'll sort of swap him here. I'm also chopping out Anansi. Uh, I don't have a lot of science and culture right now, so I need to boost my way through the, the tech and civic trees. Okay. Oh, Wukong's doing a little bit of damage, huh? I need to be a little bit, we'll be fine, but I just need to be a little bit smarter with my unit positioning. Uh, so as long as I just kind of kill the rest of his units, and then surround Wukong, or just keep my, the the, the more damaged units around, die, uh, then, then we'll be okay. I think, we should be fine. He's losing a lot of units in this war. Oh, Pound, okay. That's another set I haven't played with for a while. Hello, Poundmaker. All right. Where are you? Oh, you're a little ways away. Okay, I'm going to send a, send a delegation. Then I'm going to sell everything that I can because he's probably going to denounce me since uh, we're going to be raising some of Sejong cities or at least taking them. All right. Let's start moving. I don't know where Wukong is, but I'm going to start moving towards, uh, towards Daegu. And we only care about settlers after these archers. Entering the new era, I want faith. So let's grab Void Singers here. Oh, hello, Wukong. There you are. All right. Hey, we can build Sokka horse archers now. I don't care about settlers anymore. Hello, Wukong. It's time to die. Goodbye. Goodbye, my good sir. To Gondor! All right. We're just immediately moving into Daegu. We'll probably take this in like three turns. Oh, it's the end of the era. Okay. And it's the end of Sejong the Great. Oh, okay, so we're at war with Taruga. We're, oh, they're fine. Okay, that's fine. And guess what? Bo's taking monumentality? No way. I don't believe it. Uh, let's see. I also forgot if Sokka Horse Archers are ranged or cavalry. They're, they're ranged, so they do get affected by Agoye. 
Now we're going to start chopping out Anansi since we have Magnus inside of that city. Promote all these units and then we're going to start the Siege of Daegu here pretty, pretty soon. We can actually already start shooting at it right now. The Siege. The Siege is here. Alright, I'm just going to throw all of my units into Daegu. Look at that. It's, it's gone on the next turn. Oh, another... Hi, Hippolyta. Another continent split. Look at Matt. Dude, imagine if I was, like, Spain this game. Or if I was playing a regular game. I would get Casa because of all of this. Oh, no. Did you fly a little close to the sun? All right. Here's a little little fortify trick. You fortify. Then you click cancel. And then you promote. That way your unit stays, uh, stays fortified during the entire promotion. I always forget, but just thought I'd show that out. Okay. Let's move. Let's uh, move these archers. Shoot Deku. And then I guess we go, oh, that's a heavy chariot. Uh, I guess we'll pillage this before we take the city, yeah? Uh, actually, hold on. This, is this, oh, that so one does not belong to Deku. Okay, city's mine. <laughs> Bye-bye. We don't need that city. <laughs> you see you later. I was pillaging this for warriors and, uh, and gold, but I'm just going to kill a camp. I don't want to have to deal with barbs, so. <laughs> uh, and there goes another chop as well, and we're going to finish this in one turn. Uh, so we're going to grab, uh, settlers and builders after, I mean, soccer horse archers. All right. I figured, yeah, I figured that would die to the heavy chariot. That's okay. It is a okay with me. We have a bunch of promotions, so let's move. Uh, tortoise. Okay, I forgot. Sometimes, see, I told you, I always forget to do the fortify trick. Delic, you don't hate me? Even though I raised a city? What? All right. Let's start to do some damage. Let's kill this. Oh, okay, close to killing him, at least. Bonk! Goodbye. He should be okay. Oh, okay, so all that scout's dead. No peace, sir. No peace. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm taking oligarchy here 100%. I want that plus four extra combat strength against the deity AI. That just evens out our combat strength, so we, we kind of need that. Let's take it right now. And then put in, uh, I guess, Diplo League. Description. Yeah, that's fine. Yongsan. Let's move in. Get all of our units. We're going to siege this city. Ex what? Okay. I've, we're rewinding that. I clicked next to the city. I did not click on the unit. Let's take a look. Look at that. I Come on. <laughs> I clicked next to the... <laughs> okay. Come on, man. Oh, whatever. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Hey, Poundmaker, do you want to be friends? May Ooh, maybe. What if, like, I gave you... What if I, like, gave you some horses? That's a pretty good deal for... Uh, let's just grab the flat gold right now. Horse Lady Activate. Double uh, Sokka Horse archer Orchers. Archers from her abilities. Uh, thank you for your warrior. I mean, your builder. Thank you, thank you. Bah! Alright. Uh... I guess we'll fortify, promote the scout, I mean the warrior, gosh. I just, I cannot words good today. Let's uh, let's kill the spearmen, and then the siege of Yongsan will, will happen now. Here come the horsies. Let's see, yep, just start, just start shooting. He's building walls, so. I'm just gonna grab a settler. I don't want, I don't care about provision right now. We don't, we don't care at all. We should be fine. We'll pillage a bunch of stuff. Uh, if not, we'll just get a, a battering ram soon. Time to bonk this city. Uh, pillage economy is how we're keeping ourselves alive. Look at that. We don't have a lot of culture and science right now, so we're just going to pillage all of the uh, all of the buildings that he has and all of the campuses and districts and use Anansi here to make sure everything's queued up. Oh, yeah. Bronze working. Do we have iron? Ooh, we settled on top of it. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it's kind of nice that we actually have iron for once. Okay, let's move these archers so we can siege the city. Uh, promote him, and then this also has a promotion as well. So let's promote this guy and just use him to take the city. Your city is mine, Trebek! I mean, Sejong. Thank you, thank you! Easiest game of my life. Uh, I'm going to immediately buy a battering ram too because of the walls. Time to pop Gongju as well. Will you be friends? Not yet. What if like, what if I like gave you just like a hundred gold or something? Like, what if you just like, took a hundred gold? 
No, sir. Oh, see? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? You have to just give him, you just have to give him a little gift. Oh, of course he built walls, dude. Okay, so that's exactly why I bought that battering ram. Because I was like, he's going to build walls in like two turns. Just AI things. But we don't, do we care about walls? We don't care about walls. All right, do you want to be friends? Look at that. It's actually really clutch to get a friend this early on in the game, especially with all this aggressive stuff that we're doing. All the other civs later on in the game are probably going to denounce me because one, I raised a city, and two, now we're going to take like two to three city because of all the grievances. So, uh, yeah, it's really nice. Also, I'm going to build Great Bath because, you know, kind of why not? Also because of the, these, the rivers keep flooding, so I kind of need it. Oh, hey, stop that. You are not allowed to... Hey! I'm the only one that's allowed to kill units, not you. It's so rude, honestly. All right. Gongju is mine. Zamnida. Thank you, sir. Here I come for soul. I'm just going to use the Sokka Horse Archers to shoot into this because uh, they're really strong. Okay, I guess I deserve that one, huh? Just <laughs> low unit there, low health unit, just chilling. Oh, hi, Herc. Fancy meeting you here. Another Anansi charge? Uh, Iron Rick. If the bread is. Do some great bath. Choppy, choppy. Alright, I think... Okay, we'll kill this, uh... We'll kill this warrior. Okay, almost kill him. Uh, we should be able to take this in, like, two turns after this, I think. Pretty pretty close. And then get this chop out. Okay, I need 80 gold. Uh, let's sell... No, he doesn't want that. Uh, let's buy a Diplo Favor, and then just sell one back to him until we get to 80 gold. Four, five, perfect. Buy the tile. Chop out great bath. Make sure I have a settler queued up. Okay, it didn't matter. It only takes one turn. Are we? Oh, we lost him. Okay, that's fine. Um, oh, hey, great bath. Wonder number one. No, I'm just kidding. This isn't the this isn't the wonder challenge again. Unless. Just kidding. Unless. No, I'm just kidding. This isn't. Religious in mine era. I adore the sun. All right, let's promote. Uh, continue attacking the city. We can actually start attacking it since I have the uh, battering ram next to it now. And there go the walls. All right, this should be it. Yeah, final assault. Mm, those two. Attack with the Sokka Horse Archer. Attack with the Nancy. Mm, okay, maybe next turn, actually. Yeah. Okay, we'll take it on the next turn. Okay, I... <laughs> Come on, both. I figured that was coming, but it is what it is. All right, this is the final assault. Let's go. All the range units, and then give me soul. I think that's the last. I don't think I'm gonna take any more of his cities. That should be that should be the last one. Now we can send uh, Hamiko away to go sue Brussels because we don't need to be at war anymore. Thank you so much for your cities, sir. That was just so kind of you to go to war with me. That wasn't how I was expecting this game to go, but hey, we got a, we got a few cities for free, and you kind of solidified this whole area via conquest, so that helps a lot, actually. All right, it's infrastructure time. Kurgans, tile improvements, all that jazz. And we just care about settlers, putting down envoys. Yeah. Buy another builder up here. Open borders, please. Trust me, this isn't. This is just for fun. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna eat your resources. I promise. Oh, okay. Another settle. This one on a different continent. We get era score. And I know I said there's no districts or whatever, but the government plaza, it doesn't it doesn't count, okay? It just doesn't it doesn't count. Alright? Should I have built it earlier? Yes. Do I care enough? No. It doesn't actually affect the tourism aspect of the game, so I'm building the government plaza. Hey, no, don't build the government plaza. You say, oh, don't build any districts. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Alright, let's uh make sure all of our techs are lined up. Okay, perfect. That should be good enough for now. And let's say goodbye. To kill. All right, extra envoys going into Cahokia. Let's seize them. Oh, hello, Sinbad. Okay, we're grabbing Sinbad 100%. Uh, okay, well, not in Seoul because I think that's where he got Wukong. So, yep, let's get Sinbad in Gongju. All right, there's an industry. We'll put that in our cap, marble. And then, do we get provision here? No, actually, let's grab Pingala. Uh, I know I wasn't saying I was going to get him earlier, but I really need the culture and science, so... And we can also go and try to seize Brussels now as well. Use the rest of our envoys for Brussels. 
then we'll work on Sinbad immediately. Look at all these boats that are around Seoul. It's going to be so useful immediately. However, that means I need to settle a coastal city. So let's go. Go settle that for Sinbad. All right, another Anansi charge. There's engineering. And then a second one. Hey, feudalism. Okay, perfect. That's great. Now we can put in serfdom uh, because we're going to start getting builders out everywhere. With the final Hamiko charge, we suze Brussels. Let's just go scout with her. All right, next turn. Oh, El Presidente. Hello, Simon. Where are you at? Let's find you. And let's exchange caps. Oh, okay, you're over by Poundmaker. That's, that's not so bad. That's a lot of boats. Probably going to denounce me, so let's, yeah, let's just sell everything that I can and buy everything that I can from him. Uh, oh, he wants my Diplo. Okay, hold on. How much will he take? 40, 50, 60. Okay, yep. Let's sell that to him. All right. Magnus is established. Let's start doing some choppy choppies. Get out. Okay, only 11 turns. Easy peasy. I mean, 13. I can't read. What did I say? I mean, what did I even do, Simone? Goodbye, Himiko. Oh my god. Okay, this is like the last person I want to see in this game. <laughs> it's like the last two people I want to see in tourism games are Peter and Chai Vadiman of the Khmer, because it just it makes the game so much harder. So let's just once again sell all of our stuff to to Peter. He's probably gonna hate me and denounce me just like Simone did, so let's you can see why that pound maker and friendship was so important. Let's faith by a couple builders here while we have Surfdom plugged in. So we can take it out and run some other cards. All right. Now we're going to take provision. We're going to start settler spamming in all of these cities that have woods in them and chopping them out. Uh, I also want to go basically directly into flight from here. Uh, nothing else matters tech-wise until we get to flight and then into the computer. So I'm going to just queue straight into flight because that's all we really care about now. Also going to get Ancestral Hall too because we need that ASAP. All right, the final chop. Let's queue up a settler. Chop out Sinbad. He's going to have to wait until we get that coastal settle down. And then governor title. Uh, let's just grab Connoisseur now for, for Pingala. We need that culture uh, as well. And then we're going to move Magnus because we're going to start chopping. All right, be back a few seconds. I'm going to do a little bit of planning here. That's, that's good enough for now. Uh, we should we should be fine with that. Enough planning. I mean, we're just put... Oh, okay. There's another denunciation. Second, the double doink, huh? Double denounce? Double doink. All right. We're just making some tile improvements here. Uh, defending ourselves from these quadrareems. And... Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I, uh, I got to stop killing these boats, huh? If I'm going to get Sinbad over there. Okay, chop. There's Ancestral Hall. Now we can start settling everywhere and grab a uh, researcher for Pingala. You know what? I don't care. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get Kill, Walk, Kiss, Your Mommy. What are you going to do? Are you going to cry about it? Are you going to cry to me? Be like, most. this isn't, this is antithetical to the, to the, to the challenge. I don't, I don't care. Wow. Okay, 10 turns to the end of the era already. Holy. Uh, okay, I should probably move my units too. Um, Kill his quadri oh wait no what did i just say i just said i gotta stop attacking these boats for sinbad all right speaking of sinbad let's settle grab this pasture move sinbad over here oh bye bye anansi what are you saying dude oh we met another f oh first to be on fez nice okay it's yeeting time. I almost, I literally almost attacked again, but there's a boat. Let's yeet. Oh, give me that gold. And stay, stay away from the coast. Zeus, Fez. Nice. And now with Magnus established in here, we can go ahead and start chopping out Killwa Kiss Your Mommy. I gotta stop calling that. Killwa Kiss Awani. It's gonna be like Among Us. Oh God, Among Us. A month in Scott Station all over again. All right, more gold. Yeah, oh, just attack me. See what happens. Look at all this. Game modes really are broken, huh? This, like, Sinbad is so dumb. 
look at all of this gold I'm getting for free. We're at 1,200 gold for free. All right, another kill watch chop. Okay, 18 turns. That's not bad. Need to show every charge of Sinbad? No, but do I like it when big number go burr? Yes. Right, final chop leaves us at 11 turns. Okay, that's fine. Beep boop. Give me the gold. You know, I'm actually just going to use all this gold to buy Emotep. We can use a charge on Kilwa Kis Kisawani, and if there's any other wonder that I want to get, like, uh, I don't know, pyramids, or if something you can see pyramids are still available there, then we'll use uh, Emotep on that. Let's just start getting settlers, too. Right. Attack into me, whatever. We have uh, a couple charges left. Come here, boat. Ooh, a builder. We'll grab that after we, after we give them a little, a little yeet. Let's uh, remake this industry here. Do, do, do. Give a little boop. Give a little boop, boop. Oh, I actually forgot to move <laughs> over the last couple turns. That's just a hard building kill. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, Vietnam, a new civ. Okay. I'm gonna once again, sell everything. I'm gonna sell everything to her because, just like everyone else, she's probably gonna denounce me. Just, we are kids. What? You like me? Let's go. Okay, let's go. Into the medieval era we go. I am a monarch butterfly. I mean, by that I'm taking monarch. Uh, Republican legacy. Yeah, it's all. Wow, monumentality. Oh my god, color me so impressed. Uh, sure. I'll just go scouting with him. Friend? <gasps> Friend? An alliance? Yeah. Let's go. Let's uh let's get allies with with Poundmaker. We go cultural. Oh, Coupe. Oh yeah, I always forget you get vision from Poundmaker alliances. We must have found Coupe through that then. Sure, it's an honor to meet you. Where are you at? Oh, you're a long ways away. He likes me another friend? Oh, I agree. Once Magnus is established in this city, well, he is now, but this is going to be Operation Chop Out Settlers. I should have waited for land surveyors, but it's fine. I'm just going to wait till we get colonization to put in and chop out. Oh, there's desert and a tribal village. Okay, we're getting pyramids, 100%. Okay, let's take out Gothic architecture and serfdom. Oh, actually, we can keep serfdom in. Let's just put in colonization because it is going to be big old chopperoonies now. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Magnus, you're in. Let's move. And it is time to chop. Make sure settlers are queued up. Yep, they are. And chop. Let's go settle. All right, another chop. Another settler. Another chop. Yeah, you'll go settle here. You'll settle the other river tile. Boom, boom. Oh, ra ooh, Rapa Nui. Oh, man. Okay, that's actually an incredible city-state. Okay, Sejong, dude. Bro. You can't just send your settler out there. Oh, he'll go. He'll actually do it. Give me your gold. Yes. What a... Oh, my gosh. You got, I almost feel bad. <laughs> I, I almost feel bad. Free settler. All right. Let's get a chop. This one's going to go north, I think. Yeah. You'll go left. Scout. 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 Ooh, Shaka. Okay. Hi, buddy. Will you dislike me? Yeah, probably. Bye. Luxuries from him. You guys know the deal. Just sell everything. I forgot. <laughs> I literally just hard built Kilwa again. I completely forgot to use Emotes. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Seriously. Honestly, these wonders aren't going to be that big of a deal when it comes to tourism. Uh, it's going to be pretty negligible, so I'm not. I'm not worried about. It. Let's sue Rapa Nui. Uh, these Moai are going to be incredible when it comes to our culture. We'll be able to skyrocket it pretty well. Oh, oh so denounce me, sir. I'm so surprised. All right. This is nice because there's a lot of desert over here, which means, I mean, we saw it was available, so you know what time it is. Uh, yo. 96 turns Pyramids is still available. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's grab Chorus, too. That's going to actually help our science and culture here.
Another settle, another city to chop settlers from. Another victory royale for the OGs. Moai time. Yep. Let's start building them. How's the Taurus? Okay, it's a little too early to check that, isn't it? All right, let's settle immediately. And now, or sorry, let's settle and let's put down pyramids immediately. And we're going to bring Emotep over for pyramids. Jebel is stuck here. I'm gonna get, I, I don't even care. You know what? I don't even care. I'm going to get Jebel too. What are you guys going to do about it? You guys going to, are you going to cry? Are you going to yell at me? All right, more Moai. Look at this culture. All right, From the there's pyramids. One charge at Emotep. The next charge is going to go into Jebel. Uh, it's going to get Petra too. Why not? Why not? This is this is a desert city. Why not? Let's just get it, right? I'm pr that's pretty cool, right? Uh, what's my highest production city actually for Liang? Because I want to get seven charge builders. Okay, Soul. Yeah, let's just put you in Soul. That's fine. I want to get seven charge builders with pyramids and uh, Liang's ability. Also, I'm just gonna buy Isidore too. I don't want the other AI to have Isidore for wonder builds, but it also helps with uh, Jebel and Petra. Is that? The oh, theocracy. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'm uh, taking this because, once again, the 15% discount on faith purchases for builders and settlers is really important in this uh, in this game. All right, At the there's Jebel. West corner, <laughs> a large... Maglis, is, Maglis? Magnus is established. <laughs> Chopping. All right. Chop. All right, there was the charge of Petra, Isidore, and now there's Petra. In turning battle... This is a nice, oh, shut up, Peter. You hate me. Why are you even talking to me, bud? Very honest people. But Port Portugal's in this? Oh, he declared, okay, he declared war on my alley. I was like, where did he come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? All right, Choppy. Another settler. Settle. Don't care if it's off water. Let's chop out another settler here. Oh, there it goes. These next like 10 to 20 turns is literally just me chopping out settlers and so I'm gonna speed this up here a little bit. Tribal villages. <laughs> turn, turn 112 relic. <coughs> turn 100. I just, I don't even, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Six more turns to the next era. Astronomy. Easy peasy. Oh, astronomy. Really just been chopping every feature on the map and planting Moai so I can get culture. Uh, I will remove all the Moai, but... Also, Peter is posturing to fight me, bringing all my units down to defend myself. All right, let's see. How close am I to flight? Six, nine, that's 25, 30. 30-ish 30 turns? Okay, 30-ish turns, so let's just, let's just beeline it. Moai. Moai. Like I said, I'm going to remove these once I hit flight because uh, we only want Kurgans for tourism. But for now, it's Moai. Okay, bud, get your trebuchets out of here. Come on. <laughs> All right. Into the Renaissance era. Is this the final era? I mean, if we hit flight in this era, then yeah. But if not, then we'll be into the industrial, but we'll see. Oh, our poets are about Whatever about. is contrary to nature is contrary to reason. Final monumentality. When will I not take monumentality? I mean, I, can't, I have to, right? It's We have too much faith economy. Maybe I'll do a game where I only go like free inquiry or something or, or something. That would be, that'd be kind of fun, actually. Maybe Dido free inquiry game? It's about time to start getting only Kurgans. 
We're going to try and seize every city-state now, too, or at least as much as I can. But only Kurgans from here on. The Great Kurganing is here. It is upon us. Okay, yeah. Go away, Peter. I keep saying the word Kurgan, and it's like, it's at that point where the word Kurgan has just lost all meaning, and I'm losing my mind. All right, I got Anansi out. We're going to start boosting our way to the flight. Kurgan. Kurgan. Kerrigan? All right. More settlers. All right, how are we looking? Seven turns. Oh! Minimum of 12 turns until I hit flight. Okay, we need to get a move on getting Kurgans and replacing all these Moai with Kurgans. So let's buy builders now. Settler. We're going to settle right here. Kurgan. Kerrigan. Kerrigan. That also means I have to do or undo all of these tile improvements, including these farms. So let's start start doing that now. Kurgan spam is real. This I love, I love doing this so much. Yeah. I have an aid request, so now I can just not micromanage my production queues and just send every city to that. It's more Kurgans. More aid requests, undoing all of these tile improvements, adding more Kurgans. Yeah, it's an aid request here in this city. Just gotta look at, there's something so aesthetically pleasing about just placing all of these Kurgans down. It just, it scratches that itch for me. I don't know what it is, but I, I love it so much. All right, another yeet. Hey, industrialization, that means seven more turns for flight at this point. Ah, uh, see. I, I had to add this in. Ah, uh, see. Just take a moment and appreciate the Kurgan spam. Okay, get rid of that Moai. Just look at this. Just, I can't get over it. I know I keep saying it, but I can't get over how pleasing this is to do. Seven turns later, I didn't want to have you guys sit through literally like 40 minutes of just me replacing everything so uh we are at flight now our tourism should be skyrocketing now i know that it says with culture but kurgans you get tourism based off of faith output not culture like moai so i thought i would uh i thought i would just skip ahead <laughs> because uh that's a lot of turns to wait for for just watching me place kurgans everywhere all right let's get some more builders out while we're here All right, a few turns later, let's do it. Let's do a tourism check. 35 out of one. Okay. I'm sure a lot of that is, uh, this is tile improvements. We probably just gained a huge boost after a couple turns, but I'm sure a lot of that is also monopolies. Uh, I forgot that that's going to be doing a lot of heavy lifting, but I think, I think, oh, 38. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. Never mind. That's, that's a lot of tourism that we're getting from these Kur uh, Kurgans because that's, that we just got an insane boost on the last couple turns. So, whew. There's just something, like I said, something so therapeutic about doing these tile improvement games. They're 52? And I'm at 61. Dude, we're gaining a couple like every turn. That's insane. All right. 185, dude. We are... It says 12 turns. We're going to win this at sub 160, aren't we? Three more turns later. It says we only need one more sieve. That's not... No. No. 103. Dude, we're actually going to win this, like, turn, like, 159 or 160. I jumped so many... To I Like, there's no way. That's... Dude, I was not expecting that big of a jump in tourism output once I got all these... 126! 120! Okay, we're literally winning in, like, two turns. What the hell? End of the era. It says we only need one. Where are we at now? One... Oh, my God. I... That literally jumped like nine tourists in a turn. That is. <laughs> this, this is oh my god! This is gonna be a turn one fifty eight culture victory. I know it says one fifty nine at the top, but that it's gonna be one fifty eight in the Hall of Fame. Let's just let's just finish a couple more Kurgans, do some chops. Who cares? I don't care. That's we can just shift enter from now on. All right, one. Th we just won. Let's shift enter. Turn 158 culture victory, Scythia. No one expects the horse lady to win it all. 
I was okay. I was not expecting that ending because I know I skipped ahead like four or five turns in between each scene, but that was an insane amount of tourism that just came out of nowhere. Like obviously, obviously there was some early lifting from monopolies and corporations, but it was not as a, like we get we gained. I think it was like around like ten tourists before we started getting to flight. But once we hit flight, it just skyrocketed. It just took off. No pun intended. Oh, hold on. We did it. We did it. Oh my god. That was just like a metric ton of tourism that we got from all of these Kurgans once we hit flight. Like, that was... That was insane. You can just see all of this tour... I mean, all these cor... Dude, I can't talk anymore. I'm so... All of these Kurgans here. Incredible game. What a, what an insane game. I love doing these tile improvement tourism games. I mean, you can just see how many we have in the city. They're just so, like, look how much, like, yeah, we got 24 here in my capital, but look how much we're getting from every single Kurgan. It's crazy. I, I love tile improvement tourism. It's just, it's probably my favorite way to play tourism games. Uh, there's a lot of micromanagement with, with builders and stuff, but that's kind of what makes it fun. There's not as much, you know, it's not as micromanagement heavy. I like rock band micromanagement is just boring to me. I don't know what it is, but builder micromanagement is just, I don't know. There's something so aesthetically pleasing about it that I, it just, I think it's because I get to make y yields go burr, which is the fun part for me. So, well, anyways, I think I'm just going to end it here. Uh, this was a really, this was a fun game to play. I'm not going to lie. I had a lot of fun playing Scythia and I hope you guys enjoyed this video too. This was a silly game for a, a sieve that I rarely play if at all. And uh, generally don't really enjoy playing her that much, so it was nice to get this really weird unorthodox strat and uh, get a really fast one with her. If you liked this video, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, you can help Dave hit 100,000. We already hit 80k, which is crazy. So thank you all once again. Uh, get to see a large number go brr. Join the Discord, discord.gg slash boast. Follow my Twitch at twitch.tv slash boastheus. I stream every Tuesday through Thursday at 12 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, and also, if you wanted to support me directly, I do have a Patreon and a coffee. Uh, no worries. It's not required. It's just, you know, thought I put it out there. But anyways, this was a fun one. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye-bye now.